I'm just proud of my journey, period. I almost didn't make it a couple of times. So I'm just proud and happy and grateful and thankful to be alive. I can't explain to you how devastating it was to hear your child scream so loud in the middle of the night and not be able to ease that pain. When I think back to the pain that I was having as a kid, I spent more time in pain than I did feeling any sense of relief. We at Mount Sinai are trying to attack sickle cell disease from multiple fronts. Our vision is to provide the best patient care from the moment a child is born, through adolescence, and through adulthood, while we work tirelessly to do research that improves lives. If our sickle cell team did not exist at all in this hospital, a lot of people would really just fall through the cracks. This is a place where you know that every physician all the doctors, they communicate and make sure that the care that's being provided is cohesive. The care that I received at Mount Sinai was definitely a game changer. I have a team dedicated to my care. We offer such a wide range of services that are at our fingertips, and it works great when they're all in one hospital setting. Our research asks questions that matter. How do we eliminate racial disparities? How do we cure the disease? Which medications work the best and for whom? This way we can personalize treatment for our patients. One of our approaches to this problem is by measuring sickle cell disease severity through the eye, where we can measure how well blood is flowing just by taking pictures of the eye. In our labs, we are working on a gene therapy cure with a simple injection that can be delivered to any patient anywhere in the world. Research matters for people with sickle cell disease because it opens the door for more treatment options. Dr. Glassberg laid out all of my options from the cures that involve chemotherapies to infusions and various medications that have improved my quality of life and made living with sickle cell that much easier. Research is a way of understanding what's working, what's not working, what can be done better. That gives the patients hope in how we can better their lives, extend their lives, and live healthier, fulfilled lives. We're at a place where there's more hope now than there has ever been. It really feels like we're on the cusp of something transformative. The science happening now at Mount Sinai is going to change what it's like to live with sickle cell disease. It took a lot of work to not let sickle cell define me. He's definitely given me hope. <laughs>